we're here once again with another big box. Fisec sent us their latest V0.2 Pro kit to check out. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, the printer was provided by Fisec for free, but they had no input at all in the contents of this video. This isn't a review, it's just our biased first impressions on something we got for free. Do your own research before you make a big purchase like this. There are lots of other complete videos out there, so we're just going to focus on some of the top things we liked and didn't like about this kit. Starting with the good, this is a complete kit. It includes nearly everything you need to build this machine, including most of the tools. But more on that later. All the printer parts are included. They were all pretty good in quality with only a few minor blemishes. These will definitely get you up and running though. The lightweight X-beam was nice to work with. The holes were well aligned, but we can't speak much to the performance of it until we use it a little more. It does look really cool though. The PCB nut bars they used were very easy to work with and made installing the rails a breeze. It was our first time using them and we were surprised how well they worked. Something else we really liked about this kit was how simple the wiring was, mostly because of this new all-in-one catalyst board. Everything is laid out well and the board works great. We didn't have to solder or crimp a single cable during this build. The one-piece bed frame was very solid, fits well, and was super easy to install. Overall, the printer prints well out of the box. So these prints are with no tuning, just a stock profile we had. Very happy with the results. All right, so let's get into the not so good parts of this kit. I will say our complaints here are pretty minor overall, but still worth noting. First up, that 80 millimeter top hat really should have been 100 millimeters. After just a single print, we can already see some marks in the top panel where the umbilical and the tube are rubbing. The cover here over the tool head board is a nice addition, but it actually collides with this screw on the motor mounts when the tool head moves to the back corner. Fisec included this Wi-Fi dongle with the kit, but we had some trouble with it. It wasn't detected in this USB port and we needed to move it to the one below. Once it was detected by the operating system, we weren't sure how to actually get it to connect and had to recruit some help from the experts over on the Voron Discord. Only one size of PTFE tube was included and it has a two mil inner diameter. This stuff should really only be used between the extruder and the hot end. The reverse Bowden should have a three mil inner diameter. We installed this one anyway, but you can definitely feel some extra resistance. And finally, they shipped us these nice extensions that don't seem to have any way to mount them. We're gonna get to work on that one soon, so stay tuned. Overall, we think this is a great kit to get you started on your Voron adventure. Fisec has included everything you need and their all-in-one controller has really simplified the wiring and electronic side of the build. We had a lot of fun putting this together and hope to use it in some upcoming videos. If you're interested in getting one of these kits for yourself, there's a link in the description to Fisec's store on AliExpress. Thanks for tuning in and keep on making.